So as you probably already know, I have moved my operation. Just uh, currently getting all set up. Still got a, a lot of sorting around and just starting to unpack everything. Already scored one rat up here. Got a couple of calls on uh, pick up some junk. Picked up this wood stove. Keep me nice and warm this winter in the garage. Paid 50 bucks. It's a arrow wood stove. It's got an electric blower on it. Of course, the most uh, important part, fridge, music. Thinking about putting a wood stove right here. Just go right out the window. Oh, what's that? A little shed back there. A little extra shed. Well, everything survived the uh, six-hour journey to get up here. The only problem I had with the old farm truck. Only problem. Pulled up to the uh, toll booth, and it sounded like she was knocking. I mean, she was making some loud noises. So I had this and uh, my utility trailer packed full of stuff, pouring down rain. So I pulled off the next exit I could get off, pulled into a parking lot, popped the hood and all it was was a bottom alternator bolt, backed its way out and she was just tapping the fan, that's all, just tapping the fan. So. Oh, nine sixteenths. Tightened her up. It's all good. Drove that up with the trailer, like I said. Drove the old RV up. Filled that with as much stuff as I could. Because, uh, didn't want to spend no money on a U-Haul. No need for that. No problems with the RV. Nope. Just a lot of fuel. Took the dually. Put the cap on. Filled that with everything in the garage pretty much. Compressor, tools, everything. And uh, put the Suburban right on the back. Gave the Suburban a ride up here. Yeah, Suburban right now is probably worse on fuel than everything else, even though it's just stock motor, but not running too great. No, been a uh, lack of maintenance on the old Suburban. It needs a little bit, a little bit of love. Uh, just not running too great. And the battery died. Shit the bed right before, right as I was starting to move, so... Yep, filled that full of stuff, put that on the trailer, and uh, just gave her a ride up here. So I've been starting to get my name out up here, and uh, word of mouth getting around. Uh, Got to remove the broken dreams. People need the broken dreams gone. They don't want them. But too sad. 
So I picked up this 99 GMC. It's got a smooth running 5.3 in it. And, uh, I don't know. They said there was a transmission issue. So, uh, haven't really looked at it too much yet. I'm busy with other stuff. But I know it runs smooth and the AC is ice cold. So I gotta look into that a little bit more. Of course, you're probably saying, where's the Silverado? The blue truck, right? Well, it's not in the driveway right now. Oh yeah, she's being driven around. That truck right there is just unbelievable. It's got 234,000 on it now. And that truck came on a six hour ride every weekend for a month. Just bringing up stuff and coming up here to do stuff around the house and towing the trailer. Hauling stuff, I mean, unbelievable truck. So good on fuel. And, uh, say the only problem that that had was one day it just got a little bit warm, so we put the AC on on the highway. And she quit. Yeah, the AC quit. I think it's the compressor. But other than that, that truck is just a champ. I mean, the wife drives that, but um, that was the main gun. And uh, the key was, my main goal was to just drive my old trucks just up once to save fuel and just have to make one trip. So every time I would drive something... Drive right back in the blue truck. Oh, this little campsite, little private little campsite. Yeah. Oh, a little extra shed there. Hear it? Can you hear it? Nope. No shit wind. None. So I'm still uh, making some calls, uh, trying to uh, find the best uh, scrapyard. Go and take my stuff. Uh, looks like I might have to take a little extra ride uh, than normal, but might be about an hour ride to uh, get the good money for the stuff. Um, so, you know, up north everything's a little further of a drive, you know, but no problem. Uh, I've been talking to uh, a couple of guys. One guy's got a scrapyard close by. He says to me, I call him up and I said, uh, you buy scrap metal? He says, yeah. I said, when are you open? Uh, he goes, uh, we're open by appointment only or by chance. No. We're off to a good start. So that's the way she is up here. Way she goes. So, uh, yeah. A little more research on that. So, that's where I'm at. Got a lot of, a lot of stuff to do around here, and uh, keep you guys uh, up to date. I appreciate you uh, being patient and uh, waiting for the videos. So, you know, there's. Uh, a lot of streets up here. Chances are, I might see you on.